So the effects of school closures due to the coronavirus outbreak has been particularly severe for adolescent girls here in Sierra Leone and I'm sure around the world. For girls, schools are a safety net. It's not just a place for learning. A school is a place for something that is often underestimated but critical for girls' lives. Social capital, having a place to be, being around your friends, where you can feel safe, you can choose, you can discuss. Girls whose lives are often isolated at home, suffering from increased isolation. And the data tells us that when girls are isolated, there are many, many worse outcomes in their lives. We saw this during Ebola. For sincerely, and this is not the first time that we're suffering from school closures. When schools closed down during the Ebola epidemic here in Sierra Leone, thousands of girls became pregnant. Too many of them could not go back to school. In fact, it became such a big issue that the government at the time decided to ban pregnant girls from school because they said too many girls, too many pregnant girls would be in the classrooms. So we've learned some lessons from that. We know that this is gonna be an issue. We know, for example, as well, that the schools have become a place for food where poor families, especially in rural areas, send their kids to school and, they get, and they're guaranteed at least a square meal a day. Now, when schools are closed, there's no education, there's no social capital that I just talked about. There's also less food, so it increases hunger in the family. And in times of medical crisis and medical emergencies, often, the burden of caregiving rests on the girls in, in the families, especially adolescent girls. What all of this means is it now forces girls to go out to fend for their families and to fend for themselves. If you don't have food, you, you need to eat. You need to provide for your young, younger siblings. So these girls who do not have anything else to trade for, in the markets that they live in are left with only their bodies, which are essentially credit cards in this uh, society that we live in. So their bodies are preyed upon. There's an increase in transactional sex. Men in society demand sex in exchange for anything and everything that these girls want and need to survive and thrive. And because they are out of school, because they don't have friends to talk to, those pressures multiply and we see all these very bad outcomes. Another thing as well that I think is unique to a society like Sierra Leone is terrible things like child marriages and female genital mutilation and cutting go up because schools also provide a safe haven, a place where, okay, if the girl is in school, then you can delay her marriage. There's a hopefulness of school. It's something, it's tangible. When schools are, are shut out, you know, child marriages go up. People say, well, you know, why are you just home? You're doing nothing. And in fact, you're a burden on my family. So they give their kids out to marry and they send them into these harmful traditional practices. So coronavirus, COVID-19 is a health emergency, but for girls, it's much worse than that. And because of the lessons we've learned, organizations like mine, Purposeful, we have invested a lot in making sure we're providing some form of social safety support for girls, providing phones, mobile phones, so that girls who cannot afford to tune into um, remote lessons can join in and, and be part of these conversations. We have developed a specialized radio program for adolescent girls that uses drama and creativity to help inspire them and help them deal with these challenges that I talk about. And this program has been a resounding success and picked up by so many girls across our country, Sierra Leone. Um, and we're, we're providing them as well, mobile phone top-ups on their phones so that they can use those to tune into the program and to get their phones working. And we're using as well solar time technology to help them to charge your phones because in communities where there's no electricity, they, they, they need, need to get these phones up so they can continue to use them.
So we learned a lot from Ebola. We're using those lessons to build a response that can at least minimize all of these negative outcomes that come from when schools are shut down, when schools are closed, and add on to the emergencies that girls, might, uh, that girls face in these times. So COVID is, is, a, is a tough time. COVID-19 presents very unique challenges for girls. And we need investments in girls. Now.